purchasing your Oasis VersaFiller. The purpose of this video is to show you how to install the VersaFiller onto an existing wheelchair water cooler. As we install this unit, we will be referring back to the installation instructions. In the installation instructions, you will find the rough-in drawings, which shows the proper mounting heights for this unit. Here's what's included in the box. Now before we start the installation, let's take proper safety steps. You should be wearing safety glasses during the rest of this installation. You'll also need to turn off the water and disconnect the power supply. In this first step, we're going to connect the water line, but to do that, we need to remove the top first. Let's put on our safety glasses. Now we can take the top off. To disconnect the drain from the top, I'll remove this screw from the drain. That'll let me take the top off with the drain unattached. Before we remove the top, we need to mark the point where the hole will be drilled through. Inside the installation instruction is a page, which is a template, which you lay on top of the cooler, and then mark the center line of the hole. To use the template, just align this edge with the left side of the cooler top, and the back edge goes against the wall, and it's marked there clearly how to do that. Now with a marker, mark the hole through the paper. Now we're ready to take off the top. The water line is still connected to the bubbler. So what we'll do is slide back the insulation, press in the quick connect collet, it releases the tube, now we're disconnected, we take the top away and drill it. Now we're ready to drill the hole into the top. What I'm going to do is lay down a block of wood so that when I drill through the top, I don't hit the floor. The next thing I'm going to do is use a center punch to mark the center of the hole. Now that we're finished drilling, we're ready to put the snap bushing into the hole. This is where the water line will come up through the top. Now we're ready to connect the water line. You'll need the T-fitting and the tubing provided in the box. Now we're ready to connect the water line, but before we do that, we need to make sure that the cooling tank is pressurized. We can tell that this one is pressurized because the cooling tank comes before the water valve, which feeds the bubbler. Now we can disconnect this water line from the cooling tank to the valve with the quick connect fitting. Now we're ready to connect the T. What we take is six inches of the tubing that we provided in the box and the T. Plug six inches into the end of the T. We take the remaining tubing, they just cut off the six inches and connect it to the side of the T. And then you take the cooling tank outlet, connect it to the other end of the T and then the open end of the tube into the elbow, and then route the tubing down around behind the drain. Like that. Now we're ready to finish routing the tubing through the top. Remember we had the snap bushing we put into the top. We're going to take the long end of the tubing, stick it through the snap bushing, pull it through the top, reconnect our bubbler, and then reinstall the top. Now we're ready to mount the frame to the wall. The first thing we want to do is take the gasket, place it against the wall, like this, centered left to right. Just like that. Now we're ready to mount the wall frame. To mount the wall frame, what we want to do is bring the tubing up through the hole in the wall frame and set the wall frame down on top of the gasket. And center the wall frame up on the gasket and on the cooler top. Now we can mark the location where the screw will go into a stud. If you don't have studs, then use appropriate wall anchors. Now we're ready to insulate the water tube coming up to the VersaFiller. Just using the sponge tubing provided in the kit, slide it over the water line. Now we're ready to install the front panel. 
now we're ready to attach the front panel assembly. But first, we need to connect the water line. The water line that we just insulated connects to this elbow fitting on the back of the water valve. Just take the tube, press it in to the elbow securely, and now you're ready to install the front panel onto the frame. Now that we have the water line connected, we can go ahead and slide the front panel assembly onto the wall frame. Now install all four screws to hold the wrapper onto the frame. Now it's time to install the cap. It just sets right on top, locates, again uses the uh, screws, same screws to hold it down. Now it's time to install the drip tray and the anti-splash grate. Use the two screws provided, the longer screws provided. Set the drip tray into the alcove, locate it in place. Install the screws down through the drip tray grate. Now you can turn on the water and test out the device. Now that we've turned on the water and turned on the power, we can go ahead and make sure that our water cooler still works. And we're ready to test the first filler. Notice that the water drains directly into the base of the water cooler. Now we're going to use our first filler. Just place the bottle in the center of the tray and fill. This concludes the installation instructions. Keep in mind that the VersaFiller fits the PADC family and the older PADM family water coolers, including split levels. But when you install it on the split level, you want to install it on the lower unit to meet ADA requirements.